I'm Judy Hicks with Remax Coastal Real Estate. I am uh, out at Crosswater at Pablo Bay. This time I'm with Justin Robbins. Yes, ma'am. And uh, Justin is the uh, Chief Operating Officer for Cornerstone Homes. And uh, we just interviewed Mark Downing, the builder. And I have to tell you, um, uh, Mark wanted us to point out that Justin does not have boots on like Mark and I did. But tell him what you said. I'm the fast runner. I'm the one that's got to be uh, quick and ready he's, to go at any he's, time. He's making, and this is a great segue into what I want to say, and I want to remind everybody that normally I'm not, not at a loss for words, but we are a little bit scripted here today. And um, I want to start by saying, and this kind of is a good uh, way in, uh, the home building process, probably from the time you get started, is about a four to six month process. Uh, depending on the, um, the situation, yes ma'am. Okay, if, if it's permitted and everybody does everything that Correct. they want to do. So tell us what your role is in the building process, the construction process. In the construction process, uh, I'm helping facilitate the, uh, the, 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 the request from the customer, making sure that everything that they have put on paper, we bring their idea to life. Uh, the biggest thing is making sure That's that big. whatever they have given us, we can, pr we can produce it. So uh, let me ask you a really important question now, and I know that we're talking about here, but if someone comes in and they, they absolutely walk in your model and they fall in love, but they want to make a couple of changes, can they do that with you? Absolutely. I think that's uh, one of the things that sets Cornerstone apart is we do allow the changes. Uh, it can be as small as an outlet, and it can be as uh, dramatic as adding um, an entire second area to the behind the garage, cutting off the second floor. Um, if, if you can dream it, we can build it. So now, what about a lot and a house? How do you how do you put those two together? Where you might maybe you have a house that somebody likes, but the lot doesn't work. How do you make that that whole thing work? Uh, when you have a lot, uh, you have to take a lot of different things into consideration. There's a lot of variables. Uh, in subdivisions that are pre pre developed, uh, you have nice level ground. Uh, the utilities are there. They're easily accessible. There are situations where we build on their uh, customers' lot that they bring to us. Uh, you might have oh, okay. soil issues uh, that you have to take into consideration requiring pier foundations. Uh, you have situations where you have a drop off or a significant amount of undulation in the ground, so we end up having to go to a stem wall foundation to address that. Um, and then there are situations where you have utility issues where you have to either take a long run or you have to get the utility companies involved to get the power or the sewer or the water, whatever the case may be, to that location. So how long did it take all of this to come about to from the time that you guys first started talking about this neighborhood to get to the point that there are some roads in? I believe the developer has been working since about November of, uh, of last year. And how many homes will be in here, do you know? Uh, I believe it's going to be over 200 when we're all said and done. Wow. Fabulous, fabulous location. Now let's go to another, uh, I'm sure you get asked this question a lot because I get asked this a lot. If a customer comes in and they want to save some money on their utility bills because everybody's that, that is their hot button now. Right. Do you do something different? Do you have different products that you can you can um, recommend to them or the way that you build that will help them save money? Yes. Um, uh, there are a handful of uh, uh, other builders that just have a, um, a box that they kind of put you in to put the, uh, to, to put the energy saving features together. Uh, we take a little bit of a different approach. What we look at is that person's needs, the way they're going to live in the home, and then the house that they're building because a single story ranch style home the more important energy saving feature is going to be how you construct the roof how you have the attic insulation because of the solar heat gain coming from the sun if you have a large two-story with a lot of wall space that area is not going to be as important it's going to be the wall insulation how do you increase that to get the more efficient uh, all of our homes come with uh, vinyl windows low e tinted glass so that we don't get the whole or the uh, solar heat gain into the home as well Awesome. Now, are you seeing um, any trend from your aspect of it as far as what buyers are wanting or specific changes that you see over and over again that just work real well and fit in real well with what you guys do? A majority of the things that we're getting now are uh, your, your, your main living, casual dining, and kitchen all being one very large functional space. Yeah. People, like Mark said, they come home, they're busy, they're tired, they want to feed the kids, do the homework, do all of that. So so um, your, pro your process, your role in this is very important because from, uh, from the first time that, that somebody walks in and they decide this is where they want to live, they're relying, the salespeople are relying on you. 
the construction people are relying in, on you. Everybody's relying on you to deliver that product so that customer gets to the point where Mark talked about, that they're happy, they would recommend you, they would build again. So it's a pretty big role that Correct. you have. Correct. And, uh, um, Mark and I uh, meet with every single homeowner after contract, after their lot specific plans are drawn, so that way we, we refer to it as our what's next orientation, so we can bring them up to speed as far as what the process is going to consist of, what steps we're taking, where we're going, how we're going to get there, and then obviously to make sure that we have the plans drawn up the right way. Um, and then we also give that as an opportunity. We've built you know, over several hundred homes. We want to give them our experiences. Hey, have you thought about this? What about this? Right. So it's our ideas right. to consider. Well, and I think it's uh, um, from a realtor's perspective, it's a um, it's a uh, it's a process that sets the buyer at ease because sometimes they think, hey, I'm going to sign a contract and then I'm not going to hear from anybody for two or three months and what's going on? Or they come by and they see all these things that need to be done in their house and nobody's there, but you're there to let them know that here's our process, here's our timing. I like that. What's next? Yep. That's, that's very smart. Um, so I want to I wanna just say thank you again. It, it had been a while since I'd seen you, and you are the guy that uh, crosses all the T's and dots all the I's and makes everything happen. But we want to know, do you do windows too? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes you do. I bet you do anything, whatever happens. If that's what it to takes to get the customer satisfied, we'll do it. Anything you want to tell a potential buyer about uh, the Cornerstone way or the philosophy or what will uh, what will make them feel at ease? I believe Mark said earlier, uh, in the past three years, we've yet to have a customer not be enthusiastically willing to refer us. I believe that speaks volumes. Um, if you give us an opportunity, you're going to be satisfied. Awesome. Well, we're going to we're going to end right now. We are going to come back when there's something else to report out here with Mark and with Justin and eventually with Scott. I want to say thank you Scott again and I want to remind everybody that it is the uh, Dirty Boots tour and we're going to follow it from start to finish out at Crosswater at Pablo Bay and um, get on my website judyhicks.com and um, I'm going to post this on my Facebook page and on Twitter and we'll post it on um, um, Cornerstone also, but if you have any questions, just give me a call.